Hi, once famous actor Lee Walker here, now counselor in training Lee Walker. I'm at home and thought I would just uh, briefly for this episode of how does that make you feel or tell me how you feel about that, whatever we're calling this uh, online magazine column, blog, entry, whatever. Anyway. I thought for this episode I don't have a lot of time or technology to make it fancy. I would just give you a tour of my school books that I'm already behind in reading for this semester. Here is the skilled helper for individual counseling class. My classes each have at least two textbooks, except for one. Uh, and this one is Normal Human Growth and Development. So you can read about what you should have been like when you grew up. Uh, here's another one for individual counseling called Caring for People God's Way. This is a seminary, and we are learning how to incorporate our faith in with counseling. Here is a textbook that I'm using for more than one course, the Encyclopedia of Counseling. This is a giant study book basically of all kinds of questions on different subjects that I'll need to pass the national counseling exam in a year or so. Boundary issues in counseling. Basically don't get involved in relationships with your clients. That's ultimately what that's about. And I have more in my backpack from yesterday. No I don't. Yes I do. <coughs> Modern Psychopathologies, a comprehensive Christian appraisal. So this is understanding the Christian reasons why you're crazy. And the big one here, which is about to be obsolete next year, and I'll have to buy a whole new volume when the uh, new version comes out. The Diagnostic and Statistics Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM-4, TR. The 4 means it's the fourth uh, one they've put out, and TR means it's a text revision, which means they revised the fourth one back almost 10 years ago. And the fifth, DSM-5, is due out next year. I think, um, gosh, maybe that was it. That's not so bad. Anyway, um, so how do you feel about that? See ya.